My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and this is a detailed walkthrough tour of a 1994 Morris 38 tri cabin layout. This boat has had some significant updates in the last five years, like hull paint, new mast, in boom roller furling from Leisure Furl, and electronics. So please take a look at this video. If you have any questions like pricing information or would like to see the listing, in the descriptions, I'll provide a link to that information. But please take a look at this video and thank you very much. So as usual, we'll start our tour with a exterior walkthrough of the boat. And you can see Eventide here in this gorgeous heated building. This is an amazing building actually. Uh, Eventide has been kept with uh, Morris Yachts for the first half of her life. And then she's been kept with Great Island Boat Yard um, in Harpswell, Maine. And they have a gorgeous facility uh, that uh, they have access to. And um, you can just see how beautiful Eventide is here. She has a gorgeous dark green hull, double white bootstripe, gold cove stripe up above there. You can see the reflection in the hull. She is looking very, very sharp. Um, they have not painted the bottom for the season, um, but she, her hull is in really great shape. The scratches that, you know, with the boat out of the water, you can see uh, some scratches and there are some scratches right here, which are really hard to see. They'd be pretty much impossible to see when the boat's in the water. Um, and then there are two other uh, scratches on the starboard side that are about quarter size. One right here. And then the second one, or the third, scratches right here. Um, this hull is an all grip hull, so when you do scratch a hull like this, it is easy to repair, um, unlike gel coat. So um, those can be easily disappeared. And then on the underbody, you have this uh, three blade max prop. These are awesome, awesome props. I love these. Um, they really have a nice bite, whether you're going forward in reverse, and then when you're sailing, they're in this position, so really efficient. Um, you have a line cutter right here. And again, with the bottom paint, um, freshly applied, they don't apply bottom paint in this shed here, so. Um, but you can see that there's no buildup of bottom paint. So this will just require a little sanding and then uh, two coats. But now let's go up on the deck. So before I help up on the deck, I'll give you a quick pan of the deck. Hopping on board. <clears throat> See how Eventide is in a heated indoor storage shed. Eventide has always been stored in a heated shed. Um, and she, she uh, certainly shows. Varnish has been done for the season and looks fantastic. Really, really pops. Check out these Durade vents. I love these. And the deck prisms are great. They really add a lot of light down into the cabin. Moving forward to your ground tackle, you have a double shiv stainless steel anchor roller. Nice, sturdy hardware. Electric 
anchor windlass with electrically up down. Nice cleats. I like your hawse pipes here. Beautiful stainless work. Looking back, aft. <clears throat> you can see these stainless opening window ports. There are plenty of stainless opening window ports. This overhead hatch, as does this aft one, open as well. So you have a lot of natural ventilation and light down below. You even have two solar um, fans as well. Two boarding gates, port and starboard. Nice Harkin adjustable jib track, as do you have a Harkin adjustable main sheet track. All lines of lead aft, and since I'm talking about it, this boat has a leisure furl mainsail system. The owner replaced the mast and the boom to get a leisure furl set up. So this cockpit area um, is really conducive to, uh, to single-handed sailing, particularly with that um, leisure furl system. I absolutely love leisure furl. Um, and <clears throat> if you don't know much about leisure furl, I highly recommend you spending a little time researching online of all the benefits, but basically Leisure for All gives you the ability to have unlimited reef lines um, and it's easy to raise and lower the main. Um, it's all done on ele electric winch, which is this electric winch right here. Um, you never have to go forward of the cockpit when you have a leisure for all for anything. It's a fantastic system. Um, it's expensive, but if you have it, you'll never go back for sure. Um, but this cockpit is beautifully laid out. Again, the varnish is just gleaming right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the placement of that Garmin screen. You don't take away from the aesthetics of the helm area with this big pod up in front of your face. So I really like that placement personally. Um, nice stainless um, primary winches. You do have a bimini here as well for extra sun protection. And aft here, you have a bit going on. You have a place to store your uh, outboard anchor. This is a crane here to help get the outboard anchor uh, from the tender onto the pulpit here. If you have ever tried to do it without, a, um, uh, without an anchor or a crane, for the outboard engine, it is very tricky. Um, throw ring, life sling, um, hydraulic backstay. Three propane tanks back here. And you have a lot of storage here as well. This is a manual uh, bilge pump. <clears throat> These cubbies are super convenient. Um, you have a, this is your shower in here. Uh, hot and cold water pressure. You can see how there's a little chipping of the gel coat right there. Um, not a big deal. Um, and then underneath this seat here, nice storage. They've got some life jackets in there. <clears throat> I do love these foot shocks as well. So when you're sailing, if you want to sit on the side rail, you have you can put your feet here and then you have this leather wrapped steering wheel and looking forward this is an awesome driving position right here i love that um, but you can easily move forward as well because you have this gap here you don't have to step up to step down um, to get forward you have this beautiful teak uh, table that just pops up here and then you have the bracket that holds it in place. So you can just see how gorgeous that is with cup holders right here. <clears throat> and for storage, you have great storage. Underneath here, you have three large fenders. You have a stainless steel swim ladder, um, some uh, lines. You've got your part of your sea frost refrigeration system, um, but a lot of storage right here. 
And then on the other side, Um, again, these vinyl cushions are in great shape as well. <clears throat> this is a nice catch-all place for um, for your uh, bits and bobs. Um, one thing I do love is you have these gorgeous companionway slides. So you can see how there's even a bronze um, plate here on either side. Pop it up real quick so you, so you can see how nice it is. These are for the companionway. And when you're coming into the boat, you always need a place that's safe for those beautiful companionway hatches. And there's a dedicated space for them right there, which is fantastic. Here you can see, this is your electric halyard winch. Um, you've got boom bang, main halyard, um, lots of line, space for line handling over here. Your main sheet comes in to this winch right here. Um, traveler controls right here, as there are right here. Um, got speed, wind, um, a Garmin GMI 20, and a depth sounder. Your, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, there's so much in this cockpit going on, it's fantastic. Um, you have your autopilot right here, and I love this electrical panel that you have, which is an outdoor electrical panel for your running lights, steaming lights, you have um, your engine controls, you even have your windlass control right here. So this is all stuff that's pertinent to the helmsman while underway, so you don't need to go down below to turn on your running lights or anything like that. So I think that's really smart and just there's so many little details like that throughout the boat before we go down below on eventide i want to speak real quick about the companionway on uh, eventide this has a nice deep companionway um, opening so you don't have to step up to then step down to go down below um, and that is I think really nice for the flow to go uh, down below or to get up onto the cockpit but taking a quick look inside you'll see how this has the tri cabin layout and uh, this has a mahogany interior which is done with a Harishoff style. Um, and what I mean by that is you have white bulkheads here with hardwood on the corner, and that is mahogany. You can see forward here how it's the same thing. That's, that's considered a Harishoff style interior. And then you have hardwood on doors and drawers and all that. Um, the, the cabin sole is teak and holly, um, but let's hop down below and look more closely about what this tri-cabin is all about. I find that the tri-cabin layout is really nice and intimate feeling. Um, you have three dedicated uh, spaces, all which have different purposes and meanings for the boat. Um, obviously, you have a sleeping cabin for one person off to port here and um, then you have this great nav station and you know i'm a sucker for a good nav station i love this setup um, there's so many nice details here uh, that i just want to run through real, real quick uh, first being uh, this electrical panel and see how there's a nice plexiglass cover here so as you're moving in and out of the space you're not going to accidentally flick switches off i love that i also love how you have this the ability to get behind the electrical panel as well it's so nice it's easy to do um, so there's so many details um, like that on this boat another hatch here which just grants you general access to uh, electrical systems um, i love this chair as well um, see how right now it's it doesn't move around meaning it won't swing around open uh, when you're sailing uh, there are these notches down here 
I don't know if you can see it on the video, but what you do is you lift up the chair here, and then you can move it into your position. So let's say this is a nice, comfortable seating position, um, and but still now it's fixed in this position. I think that that's great. It's super comfortable, well-engineered, beautiful stainless work. And <clears throat> other details like this louvered door here, gets nice ventilation to the wet locker where you can put your fallies. And look, it's a little dark in there right now for the video, uh, but there are nice cubbies where you can put all sorts of, all sorts of extra gear that you want easy access to. I think that's great. This drawer here, nice storage. You can put all your cruising guides here. This is nice dedicated uh, space for your navigation tools. You've got chargers, inverters, all that sort of stuff. VHF radio. I think that this is just fantastic. And then they have these beautiful, uh, looks like either teak or mahogany, must be mahogany um, storage bins for various things over here. You know, you can put flashlights here. This is for binoculars. Um, just all sorts of nice, again, details all over the place. Even look at where, how they've inset this fire extinguisher so you're not knocking into it as you're passing by, but it's in a nice convenient spot if you need it, uh, need to get to it real quick. <clears throat> these electric fans are throughout the boat as well. Look at these level of detail for this 12 volt fan. It is amazing. I can't imagine what those things cost. Um, so awesome, awesome details. Even um, this teak grate here, you can remove it and any of the debris that gets collected as you're coming in and out of the boat gets collected in here so you can easily clean it up. Love that. And of course, you even have a mirror right here so you can check yourself out before you go out onto the cabin make sure you're looking good so you know they think of everything here for sure uh, off to port is your galley very workable u-shaped galley elegantly done just like the rest of the boat fine details like dedicated storage for cups fitted um, storage for plates it's just so much great storage here. And you have a propane oven. And to get to your cooktop, this slides back here. But when you're done, you can increase the amount of um, workable space you have in the galley. I love that. Dedicated space for cutlery. Just great deep storage in here. An amazing level of detail. The quality of these opening window ports, which do have screens as well, is fantastic. They have really nice positive latches. Um, you can see the woodwork around it is in gorgeous shape as well. Looking forward. This berth is a Pullman, so you can um, make this berth a little bit larger. Um, so, but you can sleep one person here, one person here. Here is your head access. These here are just absorbing any moisture since we're stored indoors here just to keep the cabin nice and fresh opening window port illuminated mirror beautiful usable storage and look how there's these struts here these are helping keep these doors um, pulled into the closed position Beautiful, beautiful little details. Oh, 
love this boat. I love it. This has an electric sun, electric sun pump, varnished teak grate. <clears throat> this material is ultra suede and is in gorgeous condition. Ultra suede really lasts a long time and it stays looking great throughout its lifetime as well. It's a little dark in there. Um, but you've got um, some stereo equipment and some of the bug screens for these window ports here. Again, storage throughout, even storage behind CPAC here, all nice and tidy. Just take a minute again to pan through. Bottle storage. And up above here, these are, again, more details. There are durade vents up here. And if you want to shut off the ventilation, you can just close these um, if it's particularly cold. Um, this boat does have an S-Bar diesel cabin heater which is right here. Beautiful clock here. From the bow, I'll do a quick pan looking aft. And then now we'll go into the forward cabin. Beautiful. One thing I do love, there's a deck prism all the way forward here, just forward of this light. Um, there's also a deck prism here on the starboard side as well. And there's some aft. And right now we're in a building, so they don't do as much. But during the day, these deck prisms bring in so much light um, into the cabin. It's really great. Um, but you can see how you have these battens lining the hull. Very traditional yachty look. I love the detail, like this filler piece cushion in that storage compartment, which can get inserted here and even have this little um, bronze um, latch to keep it in place when it is in. Here you have a hanging locker. Got some phthalates in there drawer storage and then off to port just more various storage throughout the boat just gorgeous and I'll show you uh, in the video, I'll show you a photo of the engine and a quick video of the engine. Um, the access is, is straightforward and simple. And the engine has, I believe, about, let's see, she has 2,800 hours on the engine. I hope you found this walkthrough video educational. If you would like some more information about this boat, like pricing or other specific details, please do click. Uh, the descriptions below for a link to the listing and as always if you like these videos please click this button right here to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this